so I'm gonna switch it up. And we're back! <laughs> so, um, if you're clicking this from not clicking my other video, then I was just talking about the 21 Pilots concert that I went to, um, cause I saw Brand New and 21 Pilots in the same week. So this concert, um, I bought two tickets because I thought my, my friend was going, but she was like, oh, I'm working and I probably shouldn't take off work. And I was like, okay. So I was like, Mark, do you want to go? Mark is my brother. I was like, do you want to go? He's like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you can feel the real rock experience. <laughs> yeah. So, and yeah, it is. Um, yeah, we started the day. So, hi guys. Uh, so today um, is my second concert of the week because I'm crazy. No, I'm kidding. No, it just, it just so happened two good concerts were in the same week and I was like, you know what? My movie ended. I need to like chill and everything. So I went to go see 21 Pilots and that was friggin friggin amazing. Like it took like a while for like the emotions to come in. I was just like blown away. It was so good. Um, so I'll, here's my brother. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're going to be seeing brand new. I guess this is kind of my brother's first like legit concert. We've only been to like Setter in the Square in Kitchener where it's like, you know, seated and everything. And that's like not a true concert. It's not legit. <laughs> no, I mean, we saw the Pink Floyd tribute and that was really good. That was really good, actually. It was. That yeah, was really, really good. good. Um, so, yeah, this is my second time seeing Brand New, which is very fortunate because, like, I bet like 10 years from now, like the emo kids now, they'll be like, God, where's this good music? And I'll be like, ha! Ah! Anyway, so this is Mark's new car. It's actually the new family car because we scrapped the van. Okay, this is okay. I don't want this to be well, personal. It's mine. Well, it's Mark's, yeah. 401 bullshit. 330. Yeah. Um, so we drove to Toronto in Mark's new car. Lo and behold, it took longer for us to drive to Toronto than it would to drive to the GTA and then take a, take a train to the venue. So, I'm like, I told you, it took us three hours because, I mean, concerts are always going to be around 7 o'clock and for driving, that's going through rush hour and rush hour in Toronto is hell, <laughs> okay? So, we went to the 403 and it was slower. Mark was getting a little, like, frustrated. He's like, oh, now I see why everybody hates driving in Toronto. And I'm just like, now you see why I always take the train. Because I avoid all the traffic. <laughs> so we made it to the Sound Academy. There's the line. There's the line behind. And we have a feeling we're going to be here for a while. The doors haven't opened. It's, like, past 6 o'clock. So it probably opens 6.30. If it opens 6.30, it means the show is 7.30. Oh. So I got my will call and should be ready to go. Yeah. We're waiting. It's 7 o'clock and the doors still haven't opened yet. And I'm like, shit, it must start at like 7.30 or something. Um, so we're, and while we were waiting in line, we got uh, random sunglasses. Glasses. I think it's from a radio station or something. Random glasses. <laughs> We got some glasses, and then they gave us free drinks. They gave us an iced tea. It was like this Bob Marley mellow iced tea. And I'm like, well, good, because sometimes I get, like, really excited, and my stomach gets, like, all nervous and stuff, which I hate. I'm probably going to go to the doctor for that. Finally, the doors open at 745 after waiting for, like, an hour and a half. So then I realized that I was at, it was at the Sound Academy, which I've been to twice before. And this was, it looked totally different from the outside. They didn't have like the balcony thing or whatever that they usually had. Not the balcony, what's it called? Awning. An awning. Right, they didn't have the awnings and they didn't have the windows. I was like, whoa, must be doing different stuff. So we finally get in, get our tickets from Will Call, and then we're in. And I'm like, okay, gotta get in line for merch. And so I have my merch. Woohoo! That I'm gonna be, see, it's pinned. Yeah. So as you see, Brand new, year 2000, where some of the kids were born, to 2018, because they're breaking up. When I, I got the tickets for brand new in uh, the beginning of January, I didn't know that they were breaking up. I was just like, oh, it was so cool last time, and I haven't seen them in like four years, so I should probably see them. And then I found out that they were breaking up, and I was like, 
okay, well, now I have to see them. <laughs> so I was just like, well, I'm glad I got tickets. But yeah, because I guess, you know, the emo and rock is kind of like dying. I should make a video about that, about rock music. I mean, my dad was like, Victoria, that's satanic. And I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's like an off yellow. Like, I don't have any colored t-shirts other than like black and white from concerts. So then we're waiting and waiting and waiting. And oh yeah, then the opening band came out at like 8 o'clock. Um, they were all right. I mean, you know, nothing... Can't outshine the main guest. <laughs> um, they were good. <laughs> then the second band came on. Brand new. I hope you're not watching this right now because. Okay, later on in the concert, like, Jesse, the lead singer of, like, uh, Brand New, he was just like, yeah, you know, the second band that played, they were really close friends with us for 15 years, and they helped us find our own path, and they were, were really great friends and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't want to offend you, but they were... <laughs> you know, if they're enjoying themselves, they get money, they get, they do their thing, do you. I just won't be a part of it. Um... Yeah, they played for like an hour. It was very messy. Um, it, I think it could be just the sound system they had there, but the lead singer was a little... The drummer looked like he was gonna pass out all the time. <laughs> and then brand new came out. Ah, and it was so funny because okay, the first song that they played is my favorite song probably on the face of the planet. Sewing season. It is so friggin' good. You listen to it on your iPhone, and you just... And then you listen to it live, and it's even crazier, right? So this... I have a video of it. I'll show you a bit. tour so they're just like you know we're doing it for the fans yeah people who break up MCR looking at you should have had a tour yeah so the set list was some pretty song in the beginning and then it was sewing season I forgot about that because I was just like sewing season ah. um, archers bows have broken it always reminds me of like, it gets me so pumped when I want to start like riding my bike and everything. I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
at the bottom from the fourth album. That's good. <laughs> Um, you won't 
know. It's from the third album. I was like, oh, is this limousine? I don't know. Um, Brothers, which is tour debut. It must be from the new album. Luca from the third album. <laughs> is a lot like an orgasm where it's like you know it keeps going keeps going tension rising and then climax a really good climax and a long one too and then it comes down and you feel all the relief <laughs> Um, it's actually kind of, it's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> uh, 
Um, as long as nothing like spiky hits you, no one hurts you. Like my biggest fear is like someone hitting my teeth because I've had work done on my teeth for like seven years. Okay. It cost $7,000. Brand new was very impactful to me when I saw them for the first time when I was 17 because uh, I only saw Jonas Brothers concerts up to that point because I was like, you know, dedicated to them and stuff and I missed Mars in 2011. I saw Brand New in 2012 and I was just like, God, this is a part of me that I still love. I, I still love the rock, rock and roll, <laughs> I guess. Sad to hear that they're breaking up and I'm sad. I'm happy that I got to see them one last time. <coughs> MCR. <coughs> Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed my videos from Concert Week June 2016. I don't think I'm going to be going to any more concerts except uh, Camp Mars. Ah! I'm so excited. Um, I'll probably just make a whole vlog all about Camp Mars and everything. Just kind of like probably videos I'm going to make there and stuff like that. Brand new is breaking up. Hope you like my plum hair. Bye. Yeah, but you saw what I meant eventually, that... No, I know! Yeah, I don't know. There's something wrong with the sound system or the acoustics of the venue that generates a shit ton of... I'm betting it's the sound system that generates such high frequency noise. Yeah. And that's why plugging your ears works, because it blocks out all that high frequency stuff. Never get tired of this view.